uh, have so much respect for their staff. Uh, Mark's been a great friend of mine. It's kind of ironic. Yeah, we played the first conference game this year. We both got our 100th win this year, and then we played in the last game. So I really appreciate his friendship. I think he's done a tremendous job at New Orleans. I think he's a heck of a coach. I thought his guys fought hard. It's tough, man. They played three games in, in three days. Uh, that, that it's a grind, especially when they played uh, Lamar in, in a one-possession game, and then they played Sam in an incredible game last night. So a ton of respect for New Orleans uh, and what they've done. And they're just really happy, man. you got two seniors right here. Um, uh, to the right of me, we also got one more in Hayden Farquhar, but uh, just the journey these guys get on. I'm going to sit back and like I did tonight uh, and just watch it, man. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. If there's anybody that deserves it, it's these three seniors. Okay, now open up for questions for the student athletes. Once again, let us know who you are and who you represent. Brandon Williams, Southland.org. First off, congratulations to you, gentlemen. Uh, just talk about you know, the road that led to here. Uh, you know, knew it had to have been a challenge uh, going to Abilene, uh, knowing uh, what you faced, but it seems like tonight it paid off. Jay, when you start. Um, the road from to going to Abilene was uh, it was pretty hard. I mean, but uh, I stuck with my faith, and I believe in Coach G. Uh, he told me to just believe in my teammates and believe in my uh, student athletes and my coaching staff. And uh, I love the, I love the coach staff there and the campus uh, atmosphere there. It's great. Uh, fan wise, it's great. Uh, it's, it just felt like home. Jerry? Yeah, I mean, going off of what Jalen said, that's uh, really credit to the coaching staff. Uh, this whole journey, just that's what it's been from the start a lot of trust and uh, having a lot of faith in the coaching staff and each other. And uh, I really feel like that's what Coach G told me all when he was recruiting me. Uh, we knew our journey in the first two years we wouldn't be eligible for postseason play. And uh, now that we are, this is the goal, this is what we've been working for. And uh, it's just a lot of trust that goes into that, uh, trusting each other and staying strong with it. So that's just what it was. Where are you going to put that? I ain't got to see it yet. Don't let it fall. Okay, next first question. Hey, uh, Mitchell with Fonks and Abbott. Um, first of all, congratulations to all on the, on the championship. But um, after the game, whenever the final buzzer sounded, we saw that you two, uh, especially, found each other, hugged each other, and had a really, especially you, Jalen, you were, yeah. you could see you visibly crying after it's the game. Kind of describe what those um, those emotions um, were between you. Just the, uh, the, I mean, not atmosphere, but uh, the adversity we had, you know, uh, starting from the year, uh, we told, in uh, the summer, we told ourselves, we was like, this is our last ride, and for our seniors, we wanted to go out the right way, and um, um, we lost two very good players, but uh, at the same time, we did it for those, and I mean, and it was just very emotional, because we've been like four years here, couldn't go to the pro season, and we're just finally here, it just means a lot. Jerry? Yeah, I mean, like Jalen said, it was just all the emotions came out because it was just a, uh, a testament to a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of struggles that we went through, especially our early years. Uh, we took a lot of losses and uh, we learned a lot of lessons, so it was just nice to see all that culminate into winning today. Jeremy. Jeremy Rakes, Associated Press, to both the players, what does it mean to you to be the first team in, at Abilene Christian to go to the NCAA tournament? Uh, it means a lot. This is what we planned for. You know, we wanted to be one of the first teams that in Abilene Christian to go to the NCAA tournament. This is what we worked for. So uh, it was a big surprise, but um, we stuck to it and uh, trusted each other. Yeah, I mean, this is what we've been working for, so it feels great. And uh, just going back to what I said earlier, this is what Coach Golding was recruiting us for. This is what he sold us on. This is what he sold me on. Uh, this is what we wanted to do. This is the goal we've been working for my four years at ACU. So uh, it's just really nice to have all this happen. Adari Jones, the Garage Department of Media. Uh, Y'all you, you, spoke about dealing with being in Ellisville, now being eligible this year. Uh, you talked about the four-year road, now, uh, starting in June and knowing what your goals were to ultimately be here. How good does it feel? <laughs> it feels very good. Like you said, um, just working our tail off in the summer and uh, just Trusting each other and trusting our coaching staff. That's the big thing about with this program, is trusting each other and make, and building relationships. Um, we thrive off that and uh, we just believe in each other. And it's right now, it just feels so good. Um, <laughs> like you said, I was emotional and it made me cry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it feels great. It, it really hurt last year not being able to make it to Katy. And just the way we uh, had a skid in February and March, it, was just, it really hurt. And so uh, everything we went through last year in the past, Two years before that was really just work as motivators to help us this year. 
and he just kept us hungry. And uh, our coaching staff always does a great job keeping us on the edge. So it's just nice to have it all work out. Julie Richards, Avalon Reporter News. You know, you guys talk about, about how hard it was and everything. I mean, three or four years ago, you guys were part of you know, one of the worst teams in D1. Did you think back then that this day would come? Um, yes. Uh, we just needed to, <laughs> we just needed to um, make a few adjustments and uh, just work our tails off over this uh, off season, you know, and summer. And um, <laughs> right now, it didn't pay it off, I guess you could say that. Did, did, yeah, but I mean, was there a time when you guys had doubts about this? No, just like I said, just trusting each other and it's always being around each other and uh, doing like family things and family dinners and stuff like that and talking about how we can like, turn the program around and just trusting the process. I think I can answer that too, Joey. I think uh, they were they were they were they're boys, they're kids, they're men. Now they're seniors. That's the answer. Mitch in the back. Um, something I asked yesterday was, what, what is it about this group that's so special? Now, now you're here on this point, you're the first team in, to ever be at AC to make it the big dance and win Southern Conference. What is it specifically about what's going on inside that locker room? I haven't been there yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> it's really... I think from the bottom now. Yeah, <laughs> started from the bottom now. Yeah, it, it was just a lot of lessons learned when we were at the bottom that uh, helped us mature. And uh, we just had a, such a tight group. That locker room is so tight. And uh, just the camaraderie we have and the brotherhood we have in there it just kept us tight and uh, it just helped us push through adversity. We just had each other's back. Hey, Brandon, this will be the last question for the players. Sure, you guys grew up watching Selection Sunday. Mm -hmm. How is it going to feel tomorrow watching, knowing that you're going to be a part of it and your name is going to get called? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be like a dream come true. Uh, I mean, we worked so hard to get to this spot and this position, and uh, now we just got to wait and see who we got. And we just, after that, we just, after that, we're just going to get to work, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's just a dream come true. Uh, when you're younger, watching college basketball coming up, that's what you, that's what you dream of, that you think of all the time. It's like, I want to make it to that point. And uh, really, that's just what I was thinking about when I came to ACU. Like, one day, that's where I want to be. That's what uh, Coach G sold me on, like I mentioned earlier. That's where we want to be. And uh, we finally got it. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Yeah. You can take your name tags, too. Take it to the locker room and leave. Man, why? Uh, those scissors were all. <laughs> that, that net wasn't messing with me. <laughs> Always something. <laughs> okay, questions for Joe, please. Brandon? Coach, talk about how important it is to represent and be the flagship of the Southland Conference going into the NCAA tournament. Yeah, it means a lot because I know how many good players and good coaches and good teams are in this league. I got a ton of respect for this league. Uh, we've been at the bottom of this league, you know. I don't know how many games we won that first year, maybe two. Um, so I, I know how tough this league is. I got a ton of respect for the players and coaches, and uh, I'm excited um, to, to represent this univer uh, university and, and the Southland Conference. So it means a lot to me, obviously, from the university standpoint too, being a former player graduated from Abilene Christian and uh, they'll never be able to take this away from me. You know, when, when I took the job, everybody told me I was crazy. Um, I think we had three winning seasons in 30 years or something and uh, they're, they're never going to be able to take this away from me, you know. So I'm, I'm excited uh, to represent our university and our, and our conference. Coach Golden, after the game, um, I, I tried to find you as much as I could, but you, you were all over the place taking in the whole scene. What were some of the things going through your mind as you're meeting with all these people? Yeah, I was just enjoying the moment. You know, this is the second time I've been through this. I was fortunate enough to be uh, through this at Arkansas Little Rock. And uh, you, you think it's, when you, when you do it, you think it's going to happen every year, and it doesn't, you know. I mean, this is uh, this is really hard to do. People, I think, you, you know, you guys understand this room, but there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that go involved uh, into seeing that confetti drop. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I wanted to step back, uh, and I just wanted to watch. You know, I wanted to soak it all in. Um, Got a group of friends. We always talk about taking mental pics, not not pictures on our phones and pics in our brain and in our head that we'll never forget. And so I was just taking mental pics of everything that was going on, and, and uh, I'm not going to forget it, you know. And uh, this program again, man. You mentioned you've been around me a long time, man. It's not about me. 
never has been about me, man. This is about our players. Um, players first coach. That doesn't mean we don't coach them up. We coach them hard, but we love on them hard too, you know. And so th this night's all about them. Tomorrow's selection Sunday, it's all about them. This has nothing to do with Joe Goldie, man. This is about those players in that locker room, man. And, and uh, I'm going to sit back and watch. Uh, they have no idea what's about to happen, let's be honest. They don't, man. Uh, they answered the, your questions here, but uh, they, they, they're they fixing all the ride of their life, you know. And I'm excited for them. What about Valpano tonight? Huh? You were Joe Valpano. Jim Valvano, mm -hmm. trying to find somebody to hug. Yeah, I did have a few people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, you said you said it's not about you, but last night you said six years ago they should have fired you. Mm -hmm. So now here you are from being feeling like you should have been fired six years to being the top team in the conference. What does that say about your your athletic department, that your 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 AD, them trusting in you, you being able to turn it around, dealing with a transition, and now you're at this point. Tell us what that feels like. Yeah, it's 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 uh, you know I'm very uh, fortunate to work at a place where I play, and they gave me some patience. I think in the world we live in today, there's not a whole lot of patience, um, and uh, well, our, our university's uh, re getting rewarded for that tonight. You know, and that's hard to do. Uh, we weren't very good, but there's a lot of reasons to go in that. You know, uh, that we weren't very good. Uh, we weren't very good as a Division two program. I don't really honestly think we knew what we were doing going to Division one, I, uh, but that's a question that I can't answer. I'm not smart enough to be in those meetings, you know. But uh, I'll tell you what, the ADs, we're on our third AD, and, uh, uh, you know, Jared Mosley was our first AD. He hired me. Uh, I played with Jared, and he gave me the opportunity. Uh, I was the second choice. I wasn't the first choice either, you know. I was the second. He hired another guy, and then he left after a year and a half. I mean, excuse me, a month and a half, two months on the job. And uh, I got the job in late July, and... Uh, then we had Lee Daly on, and uh, Lee's the one that that uh, gave me the opportunity to continue to coach, um, and uh, continue to represent my university, and continue to build this program. And then we're very fortunate uh, right now. We've got a new AD in Alan Ward. Uh, I don't know if you guys know much about him, but uh, he's a winner. You know, he came from Murray State, uh, which they won a little bit in basketball before, uh, and uh, he's just been a complete blessing for me. He's been incredible uh, to be able to lean on his leadership uh, through this process and through some adversity. He's seen it all. He's been around the block and. Uh, you know, the good thing is I don't I don't even know how to fill out these forms, you know. We're, we're, we're fixing out a lot of forms. I don't think our university has a clue. Uh, so we're, we're very fortunate to have Alan. I think he's done this a few times, man. He'll be all right. So now, which one which one is more memorable, not being able to do it as a player or doing it as a coach? Oh, man. Uh, they should have recruited me to be a Division I. Man. I wasn't a Division II player. <laughs> <laughs> under-recruited. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, yeah, obviously being a coach, you know, but like I told you, I, I couldn't play Division One basketball, so I got to do it as an assistant coach, and that was a heck of a lot of fun doing it with Steve Shields. He's my mentor. I talked about him last night. Uh, there's, 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 you know, my dad, uh, obviously growing up, dad was a coach. Dad, granddad was a coach. I've been a coach my whole life. I thought I was going to be a coach. Uh, my brother-in-law is the head football coach at SMU. we just got a bunch of coaches in our family. Uh, my best, you know, Two friends in this business, Steve Shields, who gave me the opportunity and a mentor, and then Chris Beard. You know, Chris Beard's been been there uh, through through the long haul with me. Um, he's been my best friend, uh, not just on the basketball, but on other things too. You know, and so I'm fortunate to have uh, really good people in my life. Uh, but uh, I'm excited. I, I don't know where we're going. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be a lot of fun to put uh, ACU uh, in March Madness. Jeremy. First Southland Conference appearance, or tournament appearance, first title. I don't know the history of Southland very well, but I'm pretty sure it's a short list of teams that have done that. What does it mean to you to be on that list? Yeah, you know, I think uh, we, I talked a little bit last night about, uh, you know, I teased with the guys when we got down here that, that uh, half the tournament was already over before we got a chance to play, you know. And, uh, but I think that double bye was important tonight, you know. I mean, I think uh, I think we were able to – that was kind of the game plan, you know, was to be aggressive um, and, and, and try to wear on them a little bit. And I thought that played into it. But, uh, you know, to, to never be here before, I thought our guys sounded well. People kept asking me, how are they going to handle it, what's going on? And we just continue to do what we do. We didn't change anything, you know. And um, we just continue to, to trust the process. We treated this like uh, a week in the Southland Conference when you have a bye. And uh, I thought we got a little tight against Southeastern in the second half um, last night. And I think it was the first time you could kind of see it. We got up 13. I thought we got a little tight. But tonight, I didn't think we got tight. And we had, we had two, I think it was like maybe four or five possessions there. We had three turnovers. Two, one hit the backboard, two blob turnovers, and one on a timeout, you know. I didn't draw that up. That was my assistant coach. <laughs> uh, and uh, the second one I did draw up, and he side of the backboard. But two turnovers on the blobs. 
um, and then we weren't ever put them away. But I thought we played well. I thought we played fearless tonight. Didn't get tight. Hey, the last question. Who's got it? Okay, Mitch. Uh, Coach, you said a couple times throughout the year that you were just going to enjoy the ride. Now you're heading into this new ride. What is, what, uh, what, what, do you plan to do the same thing, and what will that be like? No, I'm going to let these guys enjoy it. I mean, I, I think uh, we're going to try to go down there and compete. I don't know who we're going to play. Um, I'm sure we'll be an underdog. Um, I don't know what seed we'll get. Uh, but we're going to go down there and compete. We're going to play hard, and we're going to represent this conference in a first-class manner. Uh, we've got great student-athletes, and I'm excited to put Abilene Christian on the map. You know, and so... Uh, I'm going to sit back and, and, and watch, uh, and again, soak it all in and, uh, and enjoy the time. You know, this, 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 is, uh, this is a special moment. This doesn't happen very often, and uh, you know, I don't take it for granted. So we're going to enjoy it, and uh, I'll soak it in with these guys. Congratulations. Cheese pizza, Dr. Pepper, and Cole. <laughs> Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me show you something real quick. Follow me on social media and subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.